Well, in its second week, the Vermont legislature is looking ahead to town meeting day. That means working on legislation that would continue election flexibility given to cities and towns during the pandemic. State House reporter Josh Morrill is live now in Montpelier. So, Josh, what can you tell us about these issues here? Well, Lauren, as you mentioned, you know, up for debate at this year's legislative session are changes and shifts to voting processes in municipalities across the state that can make a large impact. But these are changes that we've already started to see in recent years. Lawmakers have made it clear that some pandemic procedures might be here to stay in the coming years, including the outlook on town meeting days, traditionally held the first Tuesday in March. You know, it has really expedited things that are important to businesses and members of the community, um, and it's just been able to keep people safe. Lawmakers passed several bills last biennium allowing communities to make short-term COVID-conscious changes to town meeting days and to bring many municipal board meetings online. Over three-fourths of Vermont communities have utilized the legislation since 2021, opting for use of mail-in ballots or moving their town meeting days back to warmer months, which has led to more community participation and engagement. That legislation is set to expire this week. And the chair of the House's Committee on Government Operations says they are looking to potentially extend them temporarily. We hear testimony carefully consider this, but move with some urgency so that um, folks have gotten you know, used to and depend on having these authorizations that they can continue to uh, use these policies, especially while the pandemic is still with us. And he adds it's a possibility that permanent legislation could be revisited. But some lawmakers say allowing meetings to keep happening online is crucial for some communities. On some of these small select boards and city council, um, you know, it's even getting a quorum sometimes is quite difficult there. So if you had a couple of folks go down with an illness, you know, we were still able to function. But with town meeting day less than two months away, immediate action is essential. The 219 communities taking part need to inform citizens of any changes 30 days prior to March 7th. And Representative McCarthy also said that he's been hearing from municipalities himself saying that they need an extension of these provisions and said that the, the continual expansion of broadband in the state will be essential for further legislation going forward. Live in Montpelier, Josh Morrill, ABC 22 News.